Coming up on this special episode of mm-hmm. Just Eat It. He's calling me chef. This is so exciting. I'm going to be taught by a professional chef how to actually cook. How you doing with the No. <laughs> oh, my mic. I really thought we were going to be able to use like a blow torch and do all the fun stuff with it, but not today, huh? We're heading to the Hartford Club, oh, a members right? only retreat. Ahoy! Since the early 1900s, the club has represented the business elite of the city. And that's where a world class chef is going to give me the basics green beans. No. Which are peas, right? Which, no, are not. They're not. No. Of how to make a classy meal from scratch. I'm like Koshan, and I'm not a professional chef. I mean, I can't even boil water. But that doesn't mean I don't enjoy the finished product. So take a seat, join me, and. Just eat it. Today we're at the Hartford Club in downtown Hartford. It's a premier place for members only. And we're here with Chef Les. I suck at cooking, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even know how to boil water. We'll take care of that. So you're confident that someone like me who knows nothing about food can create something that's delicious? Absolutely. So we gotta head down to the kitchen. All right, Chef, this let's is a, go. Look at this, this is fancy. I'm not, I'm not used to stuff like this. All right, here we are. I'm ready. All I'm right, ready, chef. I'm ready too. Yeah, okay. He's calling me chef. This is so exciting. We're going over to our marketplace. Started with some, you know, proteins. There's a lot of different proteins. Okay. There's some seafood proteins. Okay. Here. Yeah. I don't even know what Scallop half this it. stuff is. Oh, we'll show you. Okay. Some really nice vegetables, and I just know all these vegetables are from local farmers. Great. That's what we. Or about Two thumbs here. up to that. Yeah, no, know. Always go local. So I have some market baskets here. Okay. So if you want to take a minute to kind of so think what you want to do, I mean, you want to have I an appetizer. Appetizer is vegetables normally, right? Vegetables uh, into some sort of a cold salad, perhaps. Okay. Maybe, you know, okay. these are interesting little fingerlings. These oh, look, it looks, they're fat like yeah. my fingers. No, no, they're, they're actually look. very, very sweet. The they're the exactly the same. Nice. So um, I'm looking over here, are my options, do I have options or am I just going for what I like? You're in a supermarket now, okay? Oh you just worked all day and you well, don't have a lot of time. I love home. baby tomatoes. Okay. We're gonna take those. We've got some uh, fresh cucumber. That is fresh cucumber. I do like cucumbers. Go right ahead and that's- Put that in morning. the basket. I don't, what is this, broccoli? Actually, that's fennel. fennel. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what fennel is. If I was, if I was you, mm-hmm. I would think almost like a summer panzanella. Summer a pon- summer panzanella. Summer panzanella typically has tomatoes, okay. cucumbers. I okay. think the real question here is, what is a panzanella? Okay, it's a uh, really an Italian bread salad. This is interesting. This it's is a cheesy a, bread. That's huh? an Asiago bread. That's I love that. A, Asiago baguette. Go right ahead. Done. Take that. We're gonna make some croutons with that. Can I, we fit any cheese into this? Absolutely. We can always come back out here and buy our main corn. Because this is our supermarket. Yeah, exactly. It so ain't gonna we, close. You know. And you know what we need for that salad now. We need um, fresh basil, uh, and no, we don't have it here. Unfortunately, we have it out in our garden. We're going up the garden ladder. Are we talking about like right above there? Right there. Back okay. to the kitchen? Back to the kitchen. So are you happy with this as a first I'm course? I'm very happy. We still have to come shopping later on for our main course, but let's make panzanella. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do, Mike, is we wanna toast off our bread. We're gonna go in halves. Yep. We're not gonna cut our fingers off. Yep. So. This is um, a dish where, you know, it, it's okay that we have some irregular cuts here. Um, what do you say? <laughs> Come on, man. You know, it's a real, it's a, um, it's a, it's a peasant dish, you know. It's it a, is a peasant <laughs> dish, perfect for know? me. We're gonna wanna toast them a little bit. Okay. So to toast them, we just simply, throw them in a toaster? No, we're gonna coat them in a little bit of some very nice olive oh, oil. Okay, Go how ahead. much olive oil? Um, to that amount there, I'm gonna say keep going a little bit more. You can never have too much. Stop. Hello, Parmigiano. There you go, looks good. We're okay. gonna wanna coat them up. Okay, so now we're gonna- You know, you can also get- Go ahead, keep going. Make sure they're nicely coated. On the the pan of hope and wonder. Look at this thing, whoa! And you're probably gonna wanna go uh, four minutes, okay? Now let's start preparing our vegetables. Great. Cucumbers. Cucumbers. And really, it's it's all about just the art of, of doing it. That's how you know that everything's happening. So to cut the onion, and because we want some small dice. Yeah, I'm gonna let you do this part. No, this but is... you're gonna finish it. Okay. You're gonna finish it. That's that's like a Michael Myers knife you got okay. there. And we're just. What was that? The fo- Oh, is that our timer? Ahoy! Okay. What do you think? See, I like those. Perfect. Let's, perfect. Let's go back to our onions. How you doing? I think I did it. 
small pieces. Push. That's actually, it looks easy, but for someone that's never worked with a knife like that before, it was hard for me. So we're just gonna. Or you could use the knife, go right ahead. Great. All right, now, if I said half inch cube on that. Okay. You know, this is very, it's sort of therapeutic too, doing stuff like this. Do you ever get that feeling? You just enjoy, <laughs> it's nice and, you know, <laughs> chopping things up. In go the pot. Right. Pick me out four of your nicest sprigs of basil that All you right, cut. let me really study these here. And we're gonna do what's called a chef and I. Oh, that terrifies me. Somehow I feel like this is not the right way to do it. Tomatoes. Do I put that in there first? Go right on in. Now, you, you've selected, you're at the market, you selected a couple different types of tomatoes. Like butter. Yeah, so be careful, I'm gonna have you cut. Just in half, that's all we're doing? Once in half. And that's how not, many? That's not equally in half, Mike. You're right, so let's, you know what, these are bad. Okay, so we're gonna start over again. We're gonna, we're gonna dress this and season this now. We use a sea salt, this is important. A sea salt is not an iodized. Okay. It's epsilon. Okay, so yes, we're gonna need to, and if it's okay with you, I'm gonna. Absolutely, I don't wanna mess this part up. Pepper, it needs some olive oil. Again, go ahead, okay. uh, it needs a little vinegar. Now go get those croutons, Mike. You, you, oh, they're nice and crunchy. We, you cooked them well. No, you did, Mike. I did. Turn it all in, turn it all in. Is now, it done? Well, you tell me. It's really good. Pinch more salt, right? Yeah. <laughs> Now check out what the chef's doing. He's really making this look delicious now. So maybe let me get all the rest of the the, the vegetables. So that's our first course. Great. Of summer Ponzanella. Uh, great job. Um, we gotta go shopping again, don't we? We have a, yes, we, we we have a main course. We okay. have a main course to cook. Coming up next, the main event. Is it okay if it's sticking to the bottom of the pan a little bit? No, you gotta no no no. Uh-oh. All right, so Mike, we have our uh, first course done. Mm -hmm. uh, let's grab our basket and let's go pick out something for an entree. What direction do you want to go in? I'm leaning towards seafood. You like risotto? I love risotto. Do you know how to make risotto? No. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll simply sear our, sear our fish and we'll serve the risotto on the bottom. Okay. Um, and then the seared fish on top. Love it. I'm excited. Me too. Uh, I like what you did. Yo. We got our squash. squash. Is this summer squash? That is summer squash. Summer yeah. squash. We've got tomatoes, which you can't go wrong with. Right, we're gonna conquer say that. And of course, we've got our peas. Uh, green beans. Green beans, Yo. which are peas, right? Which, no, are not. They're not. No. So what's the first step here? What do we do? We wanna make a mother risotto. Typically, when you start any risotto, you always start it with an onion or a shallot. Okay, pretty good. Now, we're gonna come over to the stove here, Mike. Uh, okay. Let me guess what's next. Are we putting any olive oil in there? There we go, absolutely. I knew that. Go ahead and sweat these. We call them sweating or melting. What about if we went ahead and put a couple cloves of garlic I'm in? I'm all about that. Okay, you ready? Sure. Put that right up on the put knife. Put it right up on the knife. We're using all this, right? Oh, we're using all of it. I always like to use a wooden spoon. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna have you do the same. Okay, so here you are, you're sweating. Go ahead. Okay. I'll let you do that. We're just letting these sweat. When now, and, and it's good to get them blackened a little bit, right? You want Not too bad, melt. No. You want to melt, almost like just translucent. Let me know when you want to add your risotto now. Well, do we don't need any water or anything? Not yet. Mix Not, this all together? Mix that all together. Now, our, our, our liquid, you usually want, always want to add it in thirds. Bring that down to a medium heat, Mike. Sure. I think I put that on medium heat, but I really don't know. What did we just dump in there? Okay, that was a, um, a vegetable broth. We're, we're gonna keep an Leave eye on it. that, but okay. while we're doing that, now we wanna get to the cutting of our vegetables. I'm gonna have you cut. I mean, I don't even know what to do with that. Does Keen even know, but I'm gonna have you cut. Just chop his head off? We'll put what's called, we call this our mise en place. Our Ever mise en place, no, yeah. what's that? And when, when we're getting all our ingredients in order, Yeah. We call that a mise en place. Chefs call it my place, my place. Okay. That's what chefs do. When you hear a chef say my place, it means he's meaning his mise en place. Okay, so that's he's what very we're very fancy. That's I'm not used doing. to fancy things, Chef Les. Well, this. But life is not fancy. Well, now, you've been a cook for how many years? You said since you were 12. I started as a, uh, a pot washer, dishwasher. Yeah. One night, the, uh, the garmage or the cold pantry chef um, called out sick. And uh, it was a Saturday night and I had about 500 reservations on the books. Wow. I did it, I did very well. And, uh, and the rest is history. I got the job. All right. All right. 
Oh, you can start seeing the risotto coming to life in there. And again, we're using that same vegetable. I can't believe that, you know, that this risotto would take so much liquid. It's gonna take it's it again. It's crazy. Okay. So come on over here. When that gets a little Just bit warm. Just the peppers. Just putting the red peppers in. Not gonna do the tomatoes or the no. squash. <sighs> Cooking's a lot of work. I'd rather just eat it. How about that? Very good. Great. Oh, it, ch it changed color a little bit. It did, didn't it? It's always important to use wild caught fish. Real very, fish. Very, 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 Not very. Not grown good. fish. Yeah. They're fed only what the uh, fishermen selected them to right. the feed, so it wasn't natural feed. Right. Okay. That fish takes on the characteristic of what of you the, what of, the, of the farmer. Right. Of okay. what you fed it. You okay. are what you eat. We're gonna do what's what's called searing, searing the fish. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna lightly season it because in the end we're gonna finish this in the oven with a herb crust. It's got a little bit of salt, minimal. Is that pepper? That is pepper. All right, now we're up. Okay. Now we're gently gonna put our fish in there. Now All anytime right. that you're working with hot oil, you gotta pay attention. You put the product in and move away. Oh, not your body, your hand. Okay, I'll okay, your hand away. <laughs> I thought we were moving our bodies away. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna put the product on and I'm gonna move it away. Okay. I still got my art, but that's okay. All right. So now you're searing. How's your risotto? Oh, almost forgot about that. Oh, it's coming together. Is it okay if it's sticking to the bottom of the pan a little bit? No, you don't want it to. That's why you gotta stir it. Uh oh. All right, I think I like this. All right, you got some All nice right. caramel. You got some nice caramelization there. Oh, we're getting Too there. Liquid. Wanna add a little bit more liquid? Might as well, right? Think about what we added to that now. We added two quarts of liquid, and it took every last bit This of it. risotto was a thirsty. What we're gonna eventually do is we're gonna finish these in our oven, so. You just put the pan right in? Mm, but before we do that, I wanna put the herb crust on. I'm gonna send over an herb crust to Okay. You. We're gonna put a planket on top. Mm -hmm. Oh, right on top of yeah. it. Now, is this just going to sort of I it, melt It's on gonna top? melt, yeah. Okay. Want me to put it in? You know, one second. I'm just gonna put a little bit more broth in the bottom of that. Hot. Now we're gonna finish the risotto. All right. Don't hold it from the bottom because you will burn yourself. I'm gonna throw a couple things at you. Okay. Parmesan. Love it. Mascarpone. What's mascarpone? Gotta go out to the market. Oh, back to the market. It's really creamy, almost like a cream cheese. Ah. But sometimes it's very nice in risottos. Okay, great. Done. All right, very good. Uh, we're gonna get a lemon. Got that opened up. Oh boy, I think now let's try it again for done this so we can. Right. Oh, you just went right in. Didn't you just burn your face off? Mm. What do you think? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. I said I was going to say 30. What's that? Oh, it's time to take the fish out of the oven. That's real nice, actually. Wow. Can I let it go? Can I let it go another minute? Let it go. So? I'm gonna let it go another minute. We'll let that breathe in the oven. Okay, let's go back to the result. They're very crucial right now. Like, this is mascarpone. As you mascarpone. Eat, eat, chefs tend to uh, like to use it in, in finishing risottos. Why? It gives it a, a creaminess. That's good. However, you can never disrespect Parmesan. Let's try it. So coat. I'm gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna say mm, about I I, that. I think I like that. Okay. Perfect amount. Okay. Do you want to add salt and pepper? Yes, I do. It? Okay, there you go. More salt than pepper. Mike, think about it. An hour ago, you didn't know where to start. And now I'm calling shots. Now you, I mean, you are calling shots. There it is. May I try it? Yep, you may. Think you're gonna love it. Good job. Thank you. How about mascarpone now? How much mascarpone? Try a half a cup of that. Okay. Learning how to make risotto, before at home, I'd grab a box, dump water in, and just hope it was gonna taste good. This is life changing to me. That's All going awesome. in. Yep, go ahead. How brilliant it looks. It's pretty, it's great. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this. All of that? All of that, that you got it's more. There. No, that's nope. good. Okay. We have a lot of, a lot of bits, particles yeah. in there. Chunky so we stuff. wanna strain it. Okay. And this is called a chinois. A chinois. Frank. Chinese. <laughs> it takes all those chunks out. Yes, it does. It takes all those chunks out, and we're left with the, the nice juice. Okay. All right, so now we're putting on the, the risotto, the bottom. This is going to be our gorgeous finished product here. You put in that uh, pan sauce. The pan sauce on it, making it pretty. Look at that. Put it right on top. Right on top, easily. Nice and gentle. 
-huh. All right, so there you have it. Look right. at that, and now what is this called? So today you prepared uh, North Atlantic, Atlantic wild caught halibut, mm -hmm. and a uh, salsa verde crust with a uh, summer vegetable risotto and natural panju. Look at that. I'm a cook. Can I shake your hand? Good. Chef Les, thank okay. you so thank much. You. Now for dessert. Dessert time now, the best part. We're going over to my girl over there. She's gonna show us how to do that. Coming up next, pastry chef Lynn Marie tries to teach me the art of food. We're gonna take the swan, and guess what? It's gonna swim in the river of the green mint. Paka. And shows me how to create the perfect treat to complement the perfect meal. I really thought we were gonna be able to use like a blow torch. Now that we've created an amazing dish with Chef Les, time for one of my favorite parts, dessert. And we're here with Lynn Marie. You are the pastry chef at the Hartford Club, right? That is correct. So what are we making today? We are making a summer lemon pudding. This is a twill batter. A twill batter. A twill batter. Okay. So we're gonna pop this in the oven for six minutes. There's so, different types of twills. That one, you can shape it as long as it's like right out of the oven. I really thought we were gonna be able to use like a blow torch and do all the fun stuff with it, but not today, huh? We're gonna mix the buttermilk, the lemon All right, one. so we're sifting in the flour, right? Mm, yep. Same thing for the sugar. Yep. We're using all the sugar. So mix this all together. Yep. Do I get right. to taste test this? Mm, I wouldn't. <laughs> That's how you get salmonella. That's fun. Lid Marie. Look at that. I'm a natural at this, Lid Marie. All right, but Look you at have that. to work a little faster, so. Oh, all right, so shabam, shabam. Oh, yeah, In okay. just that small amount of time there, it already You're holds absolutely the right. shape. So this is just the egg whites, that's it? Just the egg whites. So you see that it, when you Looks like a bubble bath. <laughs> All right. You do a little bit at a time, though, and you're gonna fold. Oh, you're gonna fold it. But you don't wanna overdo it either, because then you're gonna break the cream. Hate it when that happens when you're doing that. <laughs> you make butter <laughs> if you whip the cream. Oh, much. I know, from kindergarten, they would give, did they do this to you? They gave you cream, and they would have everybody shake it until no, it turned to butter. I, I guess I had a weird? boring kindergarten Is that class. Weird? That's what they do in Ohio. So we're gonna bake these in the ramekins. The ramekins? Ramekins. That bowl right there is a ramekin. We're taking the rumpelkin. The ramekin. Malin, cleaner, fluke and flimer. <laughs> what is it called again? Ramekin. That's close. The last ramekin. Scoop our batter in here. Okay. Oh, it's a ladle. This is yeah. a ladle. I knew that. Good, good. How, just You one? learned that like 10 minutes ago, right? Lynn has um, got the jokes tonight. <laughs> you got to get creative. You're, you're like someone I wouldn't want to mess with. I'm learning that. It's um, a good thing. You don't mess with Lynn Marine. You're going to cover this up. We're putting aluminum foil on. And we're going to bake for 25 minutes. So it's been 25 minutes. We're taking out the final, or the final-ish product, what we're going to create. For decorating. Oh, you're going to paint. Are you going to draw a picture? Like, it's a very earth tone Probably right there. Make a little firecracker right in the corner. You ever seen that guy with the hair? No. You have no idea what I'm talking about. It's okay. What are you shooting for right now? What's happening? Walk me through this. You're just painting the plate? This is gonna be the line, and then the pudding mm -hmm. with this is gonna go on this side. Okay. This is my nervous part. Well, don't, don't use too much to start off with. Okay, ready? Here we go! This is the hardest part. Look at that! And it's got a little, it's got a little hope of a thing in the middle. What if we did this? Blow, 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 blow. Oh, but you know what you could do too? Look, just for fun, do three there. Switch it up. Okay. This one is horrible. Now that I've created two masterpieces, this one's not so great. What but, are you? But it's actually. Is it a bird of prey? What are you doing? It's a swan. Ah, weird, I don't see a swan in there. I see it now. Oh, a swan with like a beard, a green beard. We're gonna take the swan, mm -hmm. and guess what? It's gonna swim in the river of the green mint. Paka. Really looking forward to meeting up with its friend Strawberry and Blueberry. This is, um, I would like to call this, Swan's dream of 
lemon fun. Summer lemon pudding. Summer lemon pudding <laughs> is what it's actually called. I'm excited to try my creation. Pons vanilla. That looks like something we created together. I think that was a lot of you. I'm impressed with myself right now. It's like we just picked this out of our garden and put it on my plate. Because we basically just did that. This is amazing. Wow. Chef Mike, so today you selected to have some uh, wild caught uh, halibut. I do show after show where I just eat the food that the chef made. It's kind of very cool to see something that I created with this chef, this amazing chef, and see the finest, the finished product. And now I get to eat it. Let's trick this out. That, that fish is fresh. And the sauce we created at the bottom, Oh man, it's really coming together with the risotto, all the grains in there. What a main course, so good. Maybe you can uh, tell us a little bit about what you created here. Uh, so this is the summer lemon plate. That lemon flavor is coming right out. And it's not a fake lemon. You get, you get the flavors that come out of the box. This is real. This is an all American dessert right here. I'm just gonna eat this. We'll see you next time. Is the door gonna shut? <laughs> okay, we should have the doors okay. open now. I got someone on my face. What is that? We have mint again. Oh, Lynn Marie. Right. Mary, I keep screwing up your name. Can Lynn. I just call you L Money? No. No, I Please. know how to call you L Money. I didn't realize you were going to be whispering. I'm going to turn you up. Oh, because I don't want to yell those people in here. Right? I know. And is so, that lavender right that there? That is lavender. Yes, Look at me. I should be a botanist. <laughs> right? Is that the word? That is it's the word. Got a little butter in my face. Are you kidding? This has burned my arm off. <laughs> 